in a 4,000 square foot Stepford house, where a cupboard left open to reveal a gleaming stack of dishes stacked in perfect symmetry, counted as a mess. There were no dust bunnies in the house where I grew up, no. If anything, the dustpan was full of teeny tiny aborted dust bunny fetuses who would never be given a chance to grow up, my mom, I tell ya. The first time I went to my friend Elisa's house, the dust bunnies were taking a cue from the humans who lived there and fucking like rabbits. The stairs had half the carpet ripped up and the bare plywood was laden with stacks of books and clothes and stray vibrators, the cool kitchen stove top held last night's lasagna left out, and the kitchen table was covered by three piles of mixed fabric, mixed color laundry that had been pulled out of the dryer halfway through the cycle last week and laid out haphazardly to dry. Over the months that followed, the stacks of dirty dishes, the mislaid books, and the rumpled bed sheets came to symbolize how freely and joyfully a mock love ran through that house. But on the afternoon that I visited to paint the nursery, Elisa's belly was just starting to swell with expectation, her face already lit up with a rowdy bar brawl between excitement and fear. Upon entering the suburban townhome whose open blind underwear dance parties to Tegan and Sarah had made the neighbors increasingly uncomfortable, I barely recognized it. The bare plywood stairs were now covered in gleaming hardwood, the books lined up dutifully on the shelves. The dining room table was clear except for the cheese and crackers, and the kitchen looked so clean, I was sure they must have been eating out for weeks. While we sponge painted coral formations onto the walls of this new child's aquarium bedroom, Elisa kept her left hand always protectively on her belly. Somehow, she told me, my body knows what it has to do to make space for this baby. I think it's true. Our bodies know. Our organs rearrange themselves like Tetris blocks. Our hands paint and build, lay down floors, sweep up dust bunnies, and put covers over electrical plugs. Our bodies know instinctively how to make space for a baby. Husband, when we first moved into our new home, we had already started calling one of the rooms the nursery. But still, I loved the way the kitchen held the evidence of the last few tenderly prepared meals, the way dust collected in the corners, how our paintings and photos leaned against the walls they're intended for, unhung. Today, you brought me breakfast in bed. And when you kissed me, it was all I could do not to spill the orange juice all over you as I hopped out of the bed to clean. It's like you say, sometimes the body crosses impulses. Sometimes a delicious meal makes you cross your legs. Sometimes the tenderness of a kiss makes you want to clean things out, make space. Imagine painting lions and circus stripes, or planets and starships remaking space for a child. Husband, this is how I love you. I love you like the promise of a swelling belly. I love you like a clean kitchen, like swept floors, clothes put away like Ingredients resting neatly in the pantry. I love you like a Saturday afternoon spent painting an exact replica of the Starship Enterprise on our almost daughter's bedroom walls. Like resting my hand on the rise and fall of my belly. 